Okay, in this video we're going to do, um, this will probably be the, the first of two uh, videos on this particular section, so it's going to have the power rule, and then we'll also get into a little bit of trig in the uh, second uh, video. So the power rule for derivatives says if we have a uh, n is in the rational numbers, so you see that funny looking q, that's for the natural, na uh, not natural, the uh, rational numbers, and then uh, f of x is equal to uh, x to the n is differentiable, and that d over dx, and then the square brackets x to the n, means take the derivative of x to the n. Um, you're going to bring down that exponent of n, so it'll be n, and then x to the n minus 1, so subtract 1 from your exponent. Or if we want to say uh, the, the other way, um, we have f prime, that little, little symbol there means prime, stands for the derivative, f prime of x is equal to uh, n times x to the n minus 1. So if we say that in uh, words, the power rule, we're going to bring down the exponent as a product and subtract 1 from the exponent. Uh, note the differentiability about uh, 0 depends on if x uh, to the n minus 1 is defined at, at 0. Um, so, you know, x to the minus 1 half is, is uh, not uh, defined uh, at x equals 0. However, the square root of x is defined as 0, so we, we have a little bit of a problem. Uh, if we do a little rough sketch there, um, there's the eyebrow, the square root of x. It's, it's, it's a little sharp at 0, so it's not differentiable at 0. Anyway, so we're going to run through uh, quite a number of examples here, um, and uh, what I would suggest that you do is, you know, once you write down the problem, um, pause it and see if you can do it on your own. Maybe you watch a couple, see if you can get the hang of that. Um, but we're going to work through, and we've got a bunch of examples we're going to do, so we can kind of get a feel for the the different types of problems in the in the in the variety here. Um, so let's go ahead and, and try some out here. Um, and so we're going to find the derivative of each, and then maybe we'll also mention, you know, uh, if if it's not differentiable somewhere. Um, which, excuse me, which means for us uh, division by zero. So let's say, for example, f of x is equal to uh, a constant um, 5. Now, if you have my notes, I actually just say c for a constant. Um, so if you remember um, the, uh, you know, this is just a horizontal line, so derivative is slope of the tangent line, but if it's a line, uh, derivative is going to give us the slope, and the slope here is going to be zero. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and recall, as long as x is not 0, x to the 0 power is equal to 1. So what we can do is we can write this as 5x to the 0, which is really just 5 times 1, but then we can go ahead and do that power rule. Um, so the 5 is on the outside, um, or, well, here it is here, but uh, here's the bringing down that exponent, so 0 times 5, and then x to the uh, negative 1, because we have 0 minus 1. Uh, so that's all going to be zero. So that gives us the uh, slope of the tangent line or the slope anywhere uh, of this graph is just zero. So the derivative of a constant is going to be zero. Derivative of a constant is zero. Limit of a constant is the constant. So be a little bit careful between the derivative and the limit. All right, uh, let's try another one. And let's say we're going to do f of x is equal to x. And the slope of this, this is just a line, this is the identity function, the slope here is 1. Okay, so this is going to be f prime of x is equal to bring down the exponent of 1 times x and then subtract 1 from your exponent. So that's going to give us 1 times x to the 0, and x to the 0 was 1. So now we have 1 times 1 uh, is, is 1 there, okay? All right. Uh, let's try another one. We'll do x squared, and then we'll do x cubed, and x to the tenth, and x to the 2.07, x to the two-thirds. Uh, we're going to run through a couple more. Um, so again, if you want to pause the video and, and try these out on your own, maybe you're kind of getting the hang of it and say, okay, well, I got this, and you know, you can fast forward. Um, so we're going to bring down the exponent here when we take the derivative. So it's 2x to the 2 minus 1 which gives us 2x. So that's our slope generating function and I think we did something um, I think we uh, derived this uh, um, using the limit, def uh, limit definition of derivative earlier on. Alright, uh, number four 
f of x is equal to uh, x to the third power. So we're going to go ahead and bring down that exponent. Uh, so that's going to be 3 times x to the 3 minus 1 using that power rule. So it's a, that's going to be 3 uh, x squared as our slope generating function. Okay? So we got quite a few more examples to go through. They're all fairly short. You know, these are these should be fairly basic here of using that uh, power rule. So maybe we'll do one more uh, interesting, uh, well, I guess not interesting, but kind of a boring exponent. Let's do x to the 10, okay? Well, take the derivative, bring down that exponent of 10, x to the 10 minus 1. That's going to be 10x to the ninth power, okay? And the next couple examples, we'll do some stuff with some decimals and some fractions and maybe some negative exponents and that kind of stuff. So we'll, we'll get into some, some other uh, uh, possibilities here. Um, number 6, f of x is equal to x to the 2.07, so that's a rational number. We'll go ahead and bring down that exponent as we take the derivative, so it'll be 2.07, and then x to the 2.07 minus 1. That becomes 2.07x to the 1.07 as the uh, derivative there. Okay. Um, the next one we're going to look at is a fraction. So we're going to look at uh, x to the 2 thirds power. And we're going to go ahead and note that uh, 3 over 3, that's equal to 1. So when we take the derivative, it is um, 2 thirds, bring down the exponent, x to the 2 thirds minus 1, well, 2 thirds minus 1 is really 2 thirds minus 3, and remind you, we just said 3 was three over 3 is 1, so 2 thirds minus 3 over 3, it's going to be negative 1 third, and so we have 2 thirds x to the negative 1 third, and that gives us 2 over x uh, to the 1 third, or maybe it's helpful, it just depends on the situation, we want to think of that as um, two-thirds and then cube root of x in the denominator there, okay? So that just depending on what we're doing, you know, it might be better to uh, think of it uh, as a rational exponent or maybe a, uh, a radical. Um, so the graph of this thing is going to have some sort of, uh, we're going to call it a cusp. Oops. It's going to look something like that. So it's not going to be differentiable at 0, and you do see that you have an x in the denominator. So it's not going to be differentiable uh, at 0, and uh, if you do do the graph of it, it, it does have a sharp corner at 0. So di differentiability, think smoothness. Smooth graph. Okay, number 8. f of x is equal to negative 4 thirds, all right? And, uh, you know, we, we just snuck one in here, so... Uh, it's not uh, bring down the negative four thirds and subtract one. There's no x. It's just a constant. So the derivative of constant is, is is zero. Okay. So no nothing crazy there. So uh, that's the constant there. All right. Um, and then uh, back to number seven. Just mentioning that it's not differentiable. There's my lazy hand notation for differentiable diffable uh, at x equals zero. Okay. Um, we got two more from the kind of the first section of derivatives, and then we'll get into um, mentioning some theorems. Okay, so number nine is uh, x equals, I'm sorry, f of x equals x to the negative 59, and then we're going to take the derivative of this just like anything else, okay? So you're going to bring down the exponent, becomes uh, negative 59, uh, x to the negative 60th, well, negative 59 minus 1, so negative 59 and then x to the minus 60. Uh, that is not differentiable at 0, but 0 is not even in the domain of this thing because that's in the denominator. Um, I don't know if you can hear the cat back there, but apparently I'm not allowed to make videos here. Uh, we're having some protests. Uh, anyways, uh, let's do one more and then we'll talk about some uh, theorems. So uh, f of x is equal to x to the 5 thirds. Um, then we'll go ahead and make a note again that um, 3 over 3 is 1, so that will help us out a little bit when we're subtracting the exponents. So f prime of x is equal to bring down that exponent of 5 thirds and then subtract 1 from the exponent. Um, and so we get x to the f uh, 5 thirds minus 1, which is the same thing as 5 thirds minus 3, so that gives us 2 thirds. So 
and this one will be 5 thirds x to the 2 thirds, okay? And that looks like I'm making a note here on number 9. It's not differentiable at x equals 0. Now, 0 wasn't even in the domain, so and on one hand, maybe we don't even bother to, to say that. Okay, um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at uh, differentiability if we have some sort of uh, constant times the function that we're going to take the derivative of that actually doesn't really affect it. Um, so if I have 5 times the function that I can take the derivative of, then the derivative of that will be uh, 5 times uh, the derivative. And then also we can take the sum or difference of two differentiable functions. So that's what this is going to say here. So we'll speed it up. All right, so of course we're assuming that f and g are differentiable at this uh, point x. So if, if I have some constant c times the function, then when I take the derivative, the constant just comes along, so maybe it's 5, who knows. Then if we take two functions that are differentiable at a point x, and then I take the derivative, well, lucky for us, it's just the sum or the difference of their respective derivatives, okay? So adding and subtracting, not so bad. When we get into... Uh, products and quotients, uh, that's where it gets a little tricky. Um, and then uh, also when we get into composition. So um, adding and subtracting, not bad. Um, scalar multiples, sometimes what this is called, multiply by a constant, that's not bad. So these uh, next, uh, looks like six examples, couple easy ones, and then we start getting into a little bit more complicated ones, but they're, they're all not too bad. All right, um, so here here we go, we're going to find some more derivatives and we might mention uh, you know where, where uh, it's not differentiable. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the derivative of the reciprocal function stretched by 2. Uh, we're going to go ahead and rewrite it as a negative uh, exponent and that's just going to make it a little bit easier to do the uh, derivative. Okay, um, so we've actually kind of used that, that uh, theorem where if we have some constant times our, our x uh, we've, we've already used that, but we could still use it here. Um, so f prime of x is going to be equal to 2 times, bring down that exponent of negative 1, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. So we have negative 2x to the minus 2, and you can rewrite it as negative 2 over x squared. Um, and then we'll mention that it's not differentiable at x equals 0. Of course, 0 is not in the domain in the first place, but we can mention, mention it. Okay, and we'll go for the less lazy uh, differentiable, uh, actually spelling it out. Okay. Uh, number 12, we have 5x to the 7th. Um, this one's going to be pretty straightforward. So it's going to be the constant of 5, take the derivative, bring down the 7, x to the 7 minus 1. So we get 35x to the 6th. Uh, and then we get one with a uh, fraction here, okay. Um, and we'll talk about it a little bit, and when we run into stuff later on in calculus, um, and we're asked to find a derivative, I'm going to kind of look at the, uh, the degrees. So the degree is just the highest exponent that you see for these rational functions, so the degree of the uh, bottom is 1. Well, I'm going to try to draw one draw one. The degree of the bottom is a 1, and the degree of the top is a 3. It's the highest exponent here. Um, so, because the degree of the top is, is higher, then we can divide the uh, denominator in. Um, and because it's a monomial, we'll go ahead and split it up like this. So, 2x cubed over 2x minus 5x squared over x. And then we'll use the quotient rule for just uh, dividing like bases, which means we'll subtract the exponents. Of course, the 2's will divide out, and then x is the third minus, uh, minus 1 is going to give us x squared. And then uh, what we're going to have left is 5 halves uh, x. Um, you can write it as 5x over 2, doesn't, doesn't matter. If it's, if it's out in the side like this, this, this x here, that's understood to be in the, in the numerator, okay? So we haven't actually taken the derivative. All we've done is, is simplify it. So that's one of the things if, if we got something a little bit more complicated is to go ahead and simplify it down a little bit to make the uh, derivative a little bit easier. Okay. So taking the derivative, bring down that exponent, subtract 1 from the exponent. And um, if we take the derivative of the 5 halves um, times x, you'd have negative 5 halves times 
uh, 1 times x to the 1 minus 1, and remember uh, x to the 0 is just going to be 1. So we have the negative 5 halves there. Okay. Uh, I got two more examples, and then we'll, we'll go on to and make another video. This one's getting a little long here. Um, so, number 14, f of x is equal to uh, the square root. Oh, nope. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip this one because I think you guys can do it. And now we'll get into the, the one that I wanted to talk about. Okay. So f of x is equal to the square root of x and then x, plus the, uh, x minus the square root of x. Excuse me. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the fact that the square root is the same thing as the one-half power. And then x and x minus x to the one-half power. Now, when I multiply like bases, I'm going to add the exponents. Well, the exponent here is a 1, so we're going to do 1 half plus 1, which is 1 half and plus 2 over 2. Well, where did we get 2 over 2? Well, 2 over 2 is 1, right? Okay, so that gives me 3 halves. All right. Then the other exponent, we have 1 half plus 1 half. 2 over 2, it's going to be 1. So we're going to go ahead and do that distributive property there. Okay. So we got x to the 3 halves minus x to the first. And uh, let's go ahead and erase this mess over here. And now we're just ready to do that, uh, the power rule. So we're going to bring down the 3 halves and subtract 1 from the 3 halves. Okay, so subtracting 1 from the 3 halves will make it 1 half. And then a derivative of x is just 1. Okay, so there's the derivative there. And one more. We'll do uh, 3 over the cube root of x squared, and we'll mention that if we have the nth root of a to the m, the way we can rewrite that as a rational is a to the m over n, okay? Now, if it's in the denominator, just put a negative in front of it. So that's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rewrite it. So it's 3 and then x to the negative 2 thirds. So f prime of x will be 3 times negative 2 thirds x, and then we're going to subtract 1 from the exponent, so I'll make it uh, negative 5 thirds. we got negative 2 thirds minus 3 over 3 is 1, so that's where that negative 5 thirds comes from. Okay. All right, so then we're going to clean that up, so we need to move, we need to move this stuff off the screen. And we'll go ahead and write this as equals uh, negative 2 over x to the uh, 5 thirds. Um, again, we can mention that this is uh, not differentiable for x equals uh, 0. Uh, the previous example, um, let's see, I think we're probably okay. Uh, uh, well, we, we probably have some problems um, uh, around around 0, but we'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave it at that. Um, so. We'll have uh, part two up in a little bit here.